The RAF's in a strong position. We're operationally heavily committed. Um, we're uh, a growing air force as a result of the defence re uh, review last year. Uh, and then we've got fantastic people doing a great job on operations uh, and on exercises and in the, uh, the, uh, the home base. It has to be the people challenges, is the, the, the beating heart of the Air Force are its people. They're what gives us our strength, that's what gives us our capability and operations, that's what will allow us to grow. This is uh, more than we expected to do in uh, the, uh, the past, but we need to keep up that effort because uh, those who are our, our adversaries, in many ways, um, they're uh, waiting for us to be able to ease off and we're determined we're not going to ease off, we'll keep going until the job's done. We take a huge amount of care to make sure that our operations are uh, de-conflicted. Um, we uh, require others to re uh, do the same uh, activities, put a lot of effort into it. This is a complex, but it's also potentially dangerous operating environment that we're in. Uh, all of our operations have been in that, uh, that way over the last uh, 25 uh, years. Uh, our aircraft have got the equipment uh, to deal with uh, those threats, uh, and our crews are very well trained to deal with them uh, as well. So it is risky, but uh, we have the measures in place to, uh, to deal with them. Well, recruiting at the moment seems to be uh, buoyant. Uh, people want to join the Air Force. They look at what we're doing uh, and it's challenging and it's exciting and it's rewarding. Um, but uh, those people that we train very well have very marketable skills and so they have choices. Uh, and so I, I think rather than uh, recruiting, I worry more about retaining uh, those, uh, those great people at the moment. Preparations at Marham are going uh, well. We um, have the infrastructure, is, uh, work has uh, started, uh, so I'm confident that the uh, airfield will physically be ready for the arrival of the uh, Lightning in 2018. In terms of in the US, uh, then uh, we have a growing number of aircraft in the US, both uh, at uh, Edwards Air Force Base doing the test and evaluation, uh, and now starting to grow at uh, Beaufort, uh, where uh, we're working alongside the US Marine Corps, and we will then uh, start we were starting the process of building up our first frontline squadron. I want to ensure that the RAF has sustained its operational commitments and given the nation the air power that uh, it needs. Uh, I want to ensure that that growth plan is well developed, be it the F-35 or the, uh, the P-8 Poseidon, uh, or uh, as we enhance our unmanned uh, air systems. Uh, I want to ensure that, ensure that that growth plan is uh, well established, well in progress. It won't be complete at that stage, but uh, progressing well. Um, but most importantly, I want to make sure that the RAF has uh, the people that it needs, um, both for that opera those operations, for that growth plan, and uh, the, the people that we need for our second century as a Royal Air Force.